Hello, welcome to my repair video of the Spark Models AMG Mercedes SLS. So, uh, if you've seen my quick review and unboxing of this model, you'll have seen me attempt to close the door, which is something that should not be attempted, it turns out. Although there's no warnings for that, so I'm left feeling a bit silly, and now I'm ready to do a repair. So I'm going to use some uh, super glue and uh, What's great is it's not near any windows or anything. Now, I'm going to use this block that the uh, was supporting the doors when it came, and I'm going to try to put a small amount of glue. So let me try to get the uh, glue out, so a little bit out of the nozzle first. There we go, a little bit there. I can just touch, touch on there, and touch on there. Now, now these. I suspect the paint was effectively doing a bit of holding as well because I've got a feeling these are painted after the doors are fitted. Right, so I've got some glue on there. I'm not going to put it onto the model because I'm risking going to put too much on and getting it elsewhere. So now I need to try to bring it down to the right spot and make sure I'm hiding anything that needs hiding. Careful not to get it on my fingers because then I'll pass it on to the actual rest of the model too. Now I'm looking at the other door too to see where I can where it's gonna be. And I think uh, uh, there's a lot of orientation issues with getting it just so and I want to be able to rest it there to dry. So I want to be able to Bringing my hands away. Now, okay, that might be. That looks about right. Okay, now, let me see on this side. So it's interesting, I can see this strut here it was on the other side of the car. I didn't see the strut, it's more tucked away behind. So I'm not sure why that strut is more visible on this side. I'm just going to. Um, Use a pin to see if that pushes. No, no, it doesn't. I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, there's a kind of level of repair that you should be happy with and not try to be too ambitious. So maybe that's about right. Now, of course, that will take some time to dry, potentially. I mean, it might be pretty good now. One thing you can do to help it dry is get some water vapor on there uh, by breathing down into where the glue is. Um, maybe in a way that's not what you want to do. So uh, the cyanoacrylate responds to water and uh, so a light amount of water can just start it. Um, maybe it catalyzes the reaction. I don't really know how it works, that gluing, that solidifying of the glue. But uh, all in all, if I look from above, I'm fairly happy with the position of the door on that one. Yeah, yeah, looks fine, I think. Let me bring you with me. So, uh, it's not going to be exactly right, but it's close enough never to be noticeable. So, uh, and then let me just take this out of the mount and we'll get in there a little bit and see what we can see if I get up in there. Okay, now uh, you'll see what I mean about the strut, it's more hidden on that side. I don't really know why it's, whereas here it's sticking down more. Well, I guess it should just be up into the roof more. That does appear to be something I've missed. Maybe I will try repairing it and risk breaking it and having to re-repair. So if I get my knife, let me move the camera around there and see if I can push that up and in. I don't really want to go up and in, I don't think. I think that's just the way it is. Now, 
Uh, I'm going to push that back down in tight and I'm going to keep my finger on this support and it feels like it's getting some support there and that comes away. Oog. I see it moving there. So if it's moving then it's definitely not dry yet. And of course having breached that slightly. Oof. We well, you know. It's obviously always going to be a lot weaker than the other side, one would imagine. But uh, it should never get touched. Always be careful to hold this model front and back. And then I guess you're okay keeping your hands away from that. So, uh, yeah, okay. Well, I think that covers the repair. Not a big deal. Not much to say. Not much to see, really. But uh, one of the joys of uh, getting things wrong. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe. Loads of other 43rd scale cars. I'll put this in a playlist of repairs that you'll see at the end screen. And um, you can enjoy that as well. Most of the time it's repairing other people's damage. This time it's my own. So uh, there is, of course, the video of the unboxing and review of this car, which is a lovely specimen. So uh, you'll hear from me again soon.